Yo, how's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day as well. Today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing you my first Blender tutorial. That's right, guys. We're going to be going over the uh, basic lighting and, of course, the posing and a little bit of Photoshop here as well for you guys. I'm going to be doing many more in the near future, more advanced ones. But I just think to start off, I think going basic is very, very important as well. Maybe in the near future, I'm going to show you how to actually import some skins very soon. I just want to say, though, that it's going to be free links down below in the description for you guys the skin that i'm using as well hdr for the main light source that we have no a fortnite hdr thing because that's not actually a real thing of a light and then we're going to have a psd that is going to be a photoshop file of as well the lighting or as well the cc effects that i have and other things like that so we're going to go over all of those things in today's video and i think it's about time we get started when you first get into blender it should look something like this as well maybe if it's this color here as the model color then as well all you got to do is go over to as well the next panel and that should bring out your textures if anything is pink that means that is going to be some textures missing and as well if you do know anything about textures then of course this is going to be for another video and here you go this is just some basic textures but there's so much more that you can actually do with this i'm not very advanced as well like the nodes and stuff like that but of course it's something that i like to talk about in the near future so we're not importing a skin today just go with the skin down below we're going to do some basic modeling as well i'm not going to go through all the modeling what you're going to have to do but the basics of what tools to use what things you want to look out for and of course like how to render what the best things are as well at the end so i just want to go through this quickly that is well we have two shades as well the solid one we don't really use too much but then we have as well the texture one that you can see the textures without any lighting then we have this one here this is the final one as well i have it in cycles right now first of all what we're going to do is make sure you click on the bones i'm pretty sure it's called like the amateur or so something along the lines like that now we're going to go to the object mode here and we're going to change that to pose mode so as well it's going to change to these like bones and stuff for that they're going to be for every single joint in the body i think so yeah so of course what we're going to do is make sure we go to the rotate tool and this is where we can start the pose so first of all i'm going to get my character at the i say the right angle and so first of all what we're going to actually do is probably start posing now i've just realized that if we start moving the leg this is going to be a common thing you're going to be like moving it out like this and it's it's actually really difficult to do that so of course what i do recommend is going up to the middle here and going on to local so as you can tell it just changed it quite a bit there and that is going to be making it where it's a lot easier to move it's going to move straight and as well like a bone should be not like diagonal or something like that so of course that is a very basic one and as well there's some more things that i'm going to show you right now of how to actually move the fingers properly so i know again if you have it on global it's going to be quite difficult to move them and stuff like that they don't exactly go according to plan so go to local then the next one here this is a big one here to so go to individual as well organs so of course what this is going to do as well it's going to like bend them obviously nicely but you can actually select more than one at the same time and what that's going to do is actually bend the fingers all together at one time so those two joints there but if i actually select all of these ones here then that is going to be all the joints for the fist and the fingers and it's going to create a very a basic fist as you could tell now let's get into the pose as well i'm not going to go everything that you need to know i'm going to do a quick pose for you guys and then we're going to talk about some other things that you need to know
there we go i think we got quite a basic pose right here as well i've done a little bit of the facial expression here very basic stuff so of course this is me just using as well the tools here as well the move tool and of course a rotation tool that's literally all i've done as well i didn't change anything else and it's but it's just about your perspective to be honest well you guys hope you guys that have helped and now we're going to be going into the second stage and that is going to be as well the lighting for myself i prefer hdrs as well so what are you going to do make sure you drag this drop down thing here drag that up and then it's both for this you're going to change the object here to weld now you're going to see a background and weld input what we're going to do is actually add and then go to texture environmental texture click and then we're going to locate our hdr so hopefully this is what you've got downloaded this is going to be the sunset 2k hdr and then what you're going to do is connect the color to the color and we can't see anything yet but if we go into the render view that i talked about earlier we're going to see that it's going to be like this now just want to say if it does come up as well like this don't worry all you got to do is go to this bit here that like the render view where you can customize all the settings go to film and then go to transfer that is where when you go to render it, it's going to render out transparent, but we're not done yet. We want to add a bit more as well lighting to it. So going to light and as well to sun. This is what I'm going to be using for as well the rim light. I think it all, I just always prefer the rim light to be with the sun. Some people add as well, I think it's a spotlight or the spotlight, yeah. And then of course the area light. For myself for today's tutorial, I'm just going to go with as well the sun. I think it's the one that I do prefer and I think it's going to help you guys out a lot as well. So here we go. I'm going to add as well. If I go to the, the uh, light bulb there and what I've done there is just add up the strength of now you can kind of tell that we have a bit more light around the character. That's what the rim light is as well. I can add it like maybe to the left more and stuff like that to the right and everything. Whatever you guys want to do where you want the light to be coming from. That's very important. Of course, what I'm going to do is add some very basic as well light here. Say something like this actually looks pretty good. But well. this is very basic. We could do so much more. But as well, the last light that I'm going to add as well. Here we go. We're going to add this one, the aerial of the area light at the front as well. I'm going to make sure it's a little bit that looks good so far. A little bit too strong. I'm going to bring the strength down a little bit quite a bit and do that we still need those shadows those shadows are very important so what i'm going to do is bring this in go i think that's kind of the basic lighting that we can probably do i see a lot of people they just drag in the light and they just stick it there and that's it i think the rim light is very important the more light that you have on one side because that's where the sun is coming from from where your screenshot is that is also very important so of course so this is going to be the basic lighting for you guys hopefully it has helps now we're going to be rendering this so of course it might look a little bit weird now but what when we render it, it's going to look a little bit better so here we go what you're going to do is going to sampling i usually have this around 200 as well for my computer it kind of stand it i could probably do load support depends what project i'm doing if i'm doing something quite big i will gonna up the samples technically what it is is kind of for each pixel and stuff like that so if you have it the lower the number then it as well is not going to be as good quality but then the higher the number is going to be a lot better and stuff like that but remember the higher the number the longer it's going to take to render now if you go down to the output here i usually have it as 90 20 by 1080 and as well this here i usually at 200 so 100 is all right but this 200 is just loads better now this is it all it's going to be doing is rendering out this image here so all you've got to do is go to render and render image and here we go that is it that is all we got to do and we all we got to do is now wait for this image to render now for the final part of the tutorial is going to be very basic but this is going to be a short photoshop tutorial here for you as well i'm going to be doing some more advanced ones in the near future but for now i'm just going to go through this one kind of quickly and as well if you ever get stuck just let me know and i'm pretty sure i can help you out with that so all you got to do is when you open up as well your render very easy go open and click on it and open very simple drag it over to the cc that you have down uh, downloaded down below 
and all you got to do is just shrink it to your liking as well to do that you got to press ctrl t to as well get the bars out here and then you can start moving it for how you want so of course for that what you need to do is add the effects here and that very simple but of course before you do that though you want to make sure you have your background do your background as pretty much last very simple add the uh, cc on that is it pretty much near enough it so it doesn't look too bad there's not too much going on i've kind of added this <clears throat> i've got this uh, screenshot from earlier so i kind of knew what i was looking for and for you guys i definitely recommend looking at the lighting where it's coming from and then trying to apply that to your skin or as well do the lighting first on your skin and stuff like that because you don't want it to go off and everything like that because as you can see the shadow here and then as well you got the shadow down here also and then you've got a bit of light around the top and stuff like that so i've kind of lined it up perfectly and stuff like that so hopefully you guys do get the gist of the lighting that's kind of a very important thing about these thumbnails so of course the thing that i usually do with my thumbnails is actually put a bit of blur on them so the blur that i like to use is actually a lens blur not usually a gaussian blur as well i usually have it around i'd say eight and that's around perfect so of course then you add the effects and stuff like that that's pretty much it pretty much it you can add more effects or whatever but the final touch i usually do as well by just dragging it down by holding alt as well i get a duplicate or a duplicate then all i've got to do is just drag over it with a select tool and then just cut this so that's going to make it without all those edges and stuff like that it's going to make it all weird so and a few things that i usually do as well as go filter and also i add a sharpness so as you could kind of tell there it does add a bit of sharpness around the character so you can actually tell what you're focusing on then there's something that you can do is always up to you add a little bit of noise i don't know i think it gives it a little bit more in depth of what you actually can see and stuff like that especially with the background so not so much the skin but as well it does kind of help out so not just that we're nearly done now we go to a camera wall filter here we can add our final effect so of course with this one i'm going to exposure this a bit more and it, all these ones here is all preferred to you and stuff for like that you can have your preset i do have a preset but i'm just going by the eye and seeing what i can make really something that does look pretty good So that's just done quickly okay so i probably should have made a duplicate of that but we can kind of tell of what we actually have here by before and after of what i've just done i think it looks pretty good so that's that and a bit brighter so as you can tell the lighting is pretty good and stuff like that i really do like it hope you guys have enjoyed as well if you want to know how to export this go to file export save for web legacy and then of course goes make sure all of this is the same like uh, pg24 Stuff like that the 90 20 by 10 80 100 percent save and then save it to your location that you need to so i hope you guys this tutorial was really helpful so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys have found this really helpful if you have please let me know down in the comments below and of course i'm going to be doing some more in-depth tutorials very soon as well this photoshop one was kind of rushed because i gotta get on and do some other stuff and everything you know what i mean so of course hope you guys enjoyed this drop a like down below and i'll see you in the next video